Hi everyone, hope you're well. In today's video, we're going to talk about some tips for creating a mobile friendly website or otherwise, or sometimes known as a mobile responsive website. So what does it mean to be for a website to be mobile responsive? A website, a mobile responsive website is a website that is designed and optimized to be viewed and used on mobile devices like smartphones and tablets, as well as on desktop computers as well. When a website is mobile responsive, it means that its design automatically adjusts to fit the screen size of the device being used to view it. Um, and this includes resizing images and text, adjusting the layout and navigation, and optimizing the user experience for touchscreens. Mobile responsiveness is becoming increasingly important as more people use their device to browse the internet, and a website that is not mobile responsive may appear distorted or difficult to navigate on a mobile device, and this can lead to poor user experience and potential loss of visitors. So how does it impact SEO? Mobile responsiveness is important for SEO because search engines like Google prioritize mobile friendly websites in their search engine results. This means that websites that are not mobile responsive may not rank as high in search engines, which can impact their visibility and traffic. Google has placed an in Increasing emphasis on mobile responsiveness in recent years with the, in, with the introduction of mobile first indexing. And this means that Google now primarily use the mobile version of a website for indexing and ranking rather than the desktop mo uh, version. Mobile first indexing is a major shift in how Google indexes and ranks website. Um, so in the past, Google primarily used the desktop version of a website for indexing and ranking, even if a significant portion of its users access the site from mobile devices. However, with the increasing use of mobile devices for internet browsing, it now prioritizes the mobile website uh, first for indexing and ranking. This means that if a website has separate desktop and mobile versions, the mobile version will be used by Google for indexing and ranking purposes. If a website doesn't have a mobile version, Google will site crawl and index its desktop version, but it may not rank as highly as mobile search engines, as mobile search results. Mobile first in indexing isn't really a penalty, it's not a ranking factor, but it's rather a change in the way Google process and evaluates your websites. Websites that have a mobile responsive design, which means that they can adjust their layout and content to suit different screen sizes, will have a better chance of ranking well in mobile search results. So to ensure that your website is ready for mobile first in indexing, it's essential to have a responsive design and ensure that the mobile version of your site has the content as the has the same content as the desktop version. You should also ensure that the mobile site has a fast loading time, easy to use navigation, and a good user experience overall. Mobile first indexing is a shift in how Google indexes and ranks websites that prioritize mobile versions of websites over desktop versions. Um, so you, you wanna make sure that you have your website as a mobile responsive one to provide a good user experience on mobile devices um, as it's crucial for improving your search engine rankings and overall visibility. Having a mobile responsive website not only improves your chances of ranking higher, but it also improves your user engagement and conversion rates. A mobile responsive website provides a better user experience for, us for visitors on mobile devices, which can lead to increased engagement, longer visits, and a likelihood of conversion. So you need to make sure that your website is responsive for search engines and users as well. Mobile responsiveness impacts users on a website in several ways. Um, one of the ways is improved readability. So a mobile responsive website ensures that the text is readable on smaller screens with appropriately sized fonts and spacing. This makes it easier for users to read and understand the content, which improves their experience on the website. It also impacts the navigation. So a mobile responsive website provides a user-friendly navigation system that is optimized for mobile devices. This includes easy to use menus, buttons and links that are spaced out and easy to tap on a touch screen. A good navigation system makes it easier for users to find what they're looking for and navigate through the site, improving their overall user experience. Next up is faster load times. So mobile responsive websites often involves optimizing images and other media for smaller screens, and this can result in faster load times. This is crucial because mobile users are often on the go and expect a website to load quickly, and a website that loads quickly improves the user experience and reduces bounce rates as well. And it also allows for consistency across devices. So a mobile dev responsive website ensures that the user experience is consistent across div different devices, whether it's a smartphone, tablet, or a desktop computer. This makes it easier for users to access and interact with the website, no matter what device they are using. 
Overall, a mobile responsive website provides a better user experience, which can lead to increased engagement, longer visits, and a high likelihood of conversion. When users have a positive experience on a website, they're more likely to return and recommend the site to others, which can help increase traffic and improve the website's overall performance. So there are lots of tools out there that can help make your site mobile friendly. One of the tools is Responsive Design Checker. So this is a free online tool that allows you to test your website responsiveness on different screen sizes. All you need to do is enter the website URL here and select from a range of popular devices to see how your site looks and functions on each uh, design. So you just type in the name and you just click on go. It's very simple and easy to use and doesn't require any kind of coding skills or technical knowledge. With Responsive Design Checker, you can see how your website looks on different devices and different screen sizes, like smartphones, tablets, laptops, desktop computers, um, different Amazon devices, Samsung devices, as well as different resolutions and different screen sizes as well. It also provides an option to view your website in just different modes, like landscape modes and uh, portrait mode. And this can help you identify issues relating to layout, space, and alignment, and this can affect the user experience on different devices as well. In addition to testing your website responsiveness, Responsive Design Checker also provides suggestions for improvements and best practices for mobile-friendly design. For example, it may suggest optimizing images, reducing file sizes, using uh, larger buttons, whatever it may be. Overall, Responsive Design Checker is a useful tool for anyone who wants to test and improve the mobile responsiveness of their website, but it's important to note that the tool is not suitable for real-world testing on actual devices. It's always good and it's always a good idea to test your website on a range of devices and screen sizes to ensure the best possible user experience for all your visitors. Another tool that can help you test the mobile responsiveness of your website is Browser Stack. So it's a cloud-based platform that allows you to test your website on real mobile devices and browsers, including iOS and Android devices, as well as popular desktop browsers. With Browser Stack, you can test your website responsiveness and functionality on different screen sizes, resolutions, and different orientations as well. It also provides debugging tools that can help you identify and fix related issues to mobile responsiveness. It's used by many web developers and designers to ensure that their websites are mobile friendly and work seamlessly across different devices and browsers. It's a really powerful tool that can help you improve the overall quality and your user experience of your website. However, Browser Stack is a paid tool and its pricing plans can be quite expensive, especially for small businesses or individuals. There are free and more affordable alternatives out there like the one I mentioned earlier, but if you have a larger budget and want more advanced testing features, Browser Stack might be a better choice for you. So here are some tips on making a website mobile responsive. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you use a responsive design framework. So responsive design frameworks such as Bootstrap or Foundation can make it easier to create a responsive website. And these frameworks provide a pre-built components and styles that can be customized for different screen sizes, making it easier to create a consistent and responsive design. You also want to make sure that you're using flexible layouts. So use flexible layouts that adapt to different screen sizes. That means using relative links like unit, like percentages or EMS for your layout rather than fixed pixel widths. This allows your website to scale up or down depending on the device screen size. You also want to make sure that you optimize your images as larger images can slow down your website and negatively impact the user experience on mobile devices. Optimize images by compressing them and reducing their file size without sacrificing quality. You can also use responsive images that adjust their screen size based on the user's screen size as well. Media queries allow you to specify different CSS styles for different screen sizes. Um, and this allows you to adjust the layout and design of your website based on the user's screen size. User, use media queries to change font sizes, spacing and layout for smaller screens. And you want to keep it simple, so a cluttered or a complex layout can make it harder for users to navigate your website on a small screen. Keep your design simple and focused with clear and concise content that is easy to read and navigate. And finally, test your website. Keep testing your website at every stage on different devices and screen sizes to ensure that it looks and functions correctly. Use tools like Google's mobile friendly test, browser stack, responsive platform to test your website on different devices and identify issues that need to be addressed. 
By following all these tips, you can create a website that is responsive and provides a positive user, user experience on all devices as well.